Hi there guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of the Wild Wonders of Southern Africa. Today we're doing a reptile room tour and we are here with Bryce Broom whom you've met last week Monday and uh, Bryce is going to introduce himself again for those guys that missed the video and show us a little bit what you have here and explain why you keep them and what are the purposes of them. Okay, awesome. Thank you Leon for having me on your channel. My name is Bryce. I have a channel called Righteous Reptiles. You can go search me up. And I'm going to show you some of my reptiles in my reptile room. Come on, look. Right, I just realized a lot of you guys won't know what a reptile room is. It's basically a simple little room in someone's house or yard where they keep their reptiles. They can keep the uh, temperature constant. It's easier to feed the animals and it's safer. So if you perhaps have a venomous animal and you keep it in your living room and it escapes, then all hell breaks loose. But more about that in other videos as well. You also get uh, spider rooms, fish rooms, but uh, with all the tours that I'm going to be doing, you guys will see all of them. Okay. So first of all, I would like to show you over here a ball python. This is a bumblebee Ooh. ball python. Oh, look at that. Do you strike? Yes, she does tend to strike sometimes, okay, but if down. she gets out of her feeding mode, then she'll be fine. She's so pretty. These guys are amazing snacks. And the setup is so nice. You put all of the, the needs down, water bowl, hide, nice wood. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, so these guys are really awesome. I'm really wanting to change my setups, even though they look quite nice now. I'd like to change them into nice display enclosures, sort of like this. So inside here oh. we have a bioactive leopard gecko setter. This is fantastic. And you can see right under there, we have a little leopard gecko. Let's see if we can get in there. I'm just going to bend that GoPro a bit. There we go. As you guys know, I also have two, but this setup is so beautiful. Amelia and Clark, they would love this setup. So what bioactive means is basically it's a self-sustaining little um, microclimate for your gecko. So you're going to add little microorganisms like crust, not crustaceans, <laughs> like um, isopods and springtails, and they those are what are called your cleanup crew, and they are going to eat up the feces of your gecko and that, and just make a healthy this all by active setup like you can see plants are growing on here so it's all the little life cycle it is beautiful a lot of ventilation as well I need to work on my ventilation for my leopard geckos I seriously do and I think I might get some tips from Bryce and do and oh wow look at that is this hard yes so this is hard because a lot of people say that the geckos can get um, impact impaction, impaction yeah. and this is just one of my ways to slow down on that hate even though if they are set up correctly they don't necessarily um, they're not necessarily going to get impaction good husbandry so, yeah yes so this is also more of a natural setup they're not really on desert sand they're more on rocky areas so this is a bit similar to where they are from Afghanistan. So awesome. Yeah. yeah. So as you can see, ventilation is really important in my enclosures because that's one of the biggest things. And in my reptile room up here, you can see I have an extractor fan on this side. Yeah. And then on this side in the door, I have a little PC fan to extract the air. So it runs through oh, giving my reptiles so fresh cool. air. And I have little oh. moss connel colony that I'm trying to grow it's not doing too fantastic well, but it's looking better since I watched your channel the last time yeah so uh, yeah well done one of the tips with these moss is I find it actually likes fresh air so I've stopped closing and putting the lid on and just keep misting it and keeping it damp not not humid but damp okay not too soggy either yes all right awesome. sure. and it must have a drainage layer as well yeah okay, cool what else do you have I have more snakes. Would you like me to take one out just to show you? Yeah, yeah, go for it. As long okay. as uh, it's not going to stress them off. No, wow. this is not going to stress oh. it at all. So this is oh. a large 
female bull python. She is so beautiful. Her name is Lady. She was actually a rescue. As you can see, the previous owner didn't care for her too well, so she had Aww. like scale rot over here. But now she's really doing super well. You're doing an excellent yeah. job, Bryce. With the previous owner, she actually didn't eat for nine months, which was really awful. So Oof. as soon as I got her, she got on feed straight away, which is really, really good. And that's one thing to show that care is very important. Oh, she's so pretty. Such amazing snakes. Oh, and she's huge. Yes, she is. She's a little bit bigger than normal bull pythons would be. Yeah. And a nice healthy weight, not too fat as well. Wow. And I see you made this DIY racking system yourself, eh? Yes, I did Fantastic. that all. So it's all run by a thermostat over here that controls the temperatures on the hot spot and the cold spot to be exactly what they like up there in West Africa. I can show you some of my babies here that I hatched out in 2017. This is a yellow belly bull python. There we go. Look at that. Oh, look at the markings, right? Eh? Looks like little faces on the side there. It does. So these are what are called alien heads. That's what many people <laughs> in the reptile industry call them. A funny name, but pretty cute and you can see why. So these snakes aren't really handled that much. It's good to let them just chill and be display animals and just be snakes, let them be themselves. You can get another pet like a dog if you would like to have a companion. Because these guys, they don't really need your love, yet they can thrive with it as well. But exactly. I don't recommend like holding them because it can stress them out. Don't hold them too much. Exactly. Yeah. Stunning. So how many do you have in there? I have two snakes in there, two little ball pythons. There's one and there's the other one, yeah. Yes. So I'm trying to do a little bit of like a scientific research because many people say they can eat each other but I'm keeping these guys well fed and at the same size so they shouldn't do that and they, they seem to like each other's company which is strange I've noticed because generally snakes like to be solitary animals yeah it's just something I've been working on and we'll see maybe I'm wrong maybe I'll get something out of this well to be honest in the last uh, pet shop tour I did at a excellent pet shop i saw they had a huge communal ball pipe and colony and what i understood from them is they're doing fine yeah so. they surely can do fine as long as they're each getting fed by themselves and not the other one stealing the other one's food and there becomes competition exactly yeah. comes down to good husbandry again totally right what else do you have here i just have more snakes and future enclosures for some Chameleons, oh, hopefully, wow. which I'm really excited about, and then an arboreal snake down here. Hopefully, I'm still oh. working on this enclosure that I built, but we'll get there. This isn't set up fully, this is just some of the stuff I have. An M air plant from that growing nicely. Yeah, it looks good, looks really, really good. And this is all from reclaimed wood, so you don't need to have lots of money in order to create stuff or keep reptiles. Just use what you have and make it work. Exactly. Yeah. Well, Bryce, I think this is an excellent reptile room. Thank you very and, much. And uh, you are definitely doing so, so much to keep these animals healthy and in a good condition. I mean, this is what it's about. If you want to get into the exotic pet trade, you have to do your research. Yes. You have to really look after the animals if you can't look after them don't get them in the first place for sure right do tons and tons of research all right guys so that's it from me i hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, video um look out for bryce's channel i'm going to link it down below thank you so subscribe much. subscribe to him if you haven't with the previous video i don't know what's wrong with you if you haven't subscribed to him already he is our local steve urban here in south africa so thank you so much bryce thank i you. hope you guys have a wonderful week and uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so click on your bottom right hand corner over there and uh, that will subscribe to you automatically if you are watching this from youtube otherwise pop on over to youtube and subscribe see you guys next time bye for now